More than a thousand kilometers from the Turkish capital, across three international borders into the former Soviet Union, Anna Statova is welcoming guests to her hotel and restaurant in a language that wouldn't sound out of place in Turkey. Her business is called Gagos Sofrasa, which means Gagos Dining Table. She started selling food to passing motorists in the 1990s and has now had visitors from 40 countries in the past three years. When I started doing this, all our neighbors were surprised. They asked me, what's going on, why do you need it? 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 The Gagos people were enticed here 200 years ago by Russia from what is now modern-day Bulgaria, but was then part of the Ottoman Empire. They were promised exemptions from taxes and military service. Today, the autonomous territorial unit of Gagosia is a largely rural area with rolling hills and a population of about 160,000. There are vineyards and fields full of sunflowers and corn. To outsiders, the situation in Gagosia can seem a little complicated. It's one of the few remaining areas in Eastern Europe where you can still see a statue of Lenin here on Lenin Street. And just behind, you can see the top of the Russian Orthodox Church. Most Gagos people are Christian. But if you look at the local newspaper, Anna Suzu, it's written in a language most Turkish speakers can recognize. A defining feature of the past five years has been increasing trade with Turkey. It's gone up more than 60%. The Turkish president visited three years ago. He opened a hospital treatment center named after a Nobel Prize winning Turkish scientist. Now a Turkish funded stadium with a capacity of 5,000 is nearing completion. An education center named after President Erdogan is planned and there's a retirement home for the elderly named after his wife. But links with Turkey predate the current president. The Mustafa Kemal Atatürk Library has been here more than 20 years. The founder of the Turkish Republic himself sent dozens of Turkish teachers here in the 1930s. Inside are close to 10,000 books, a mix of Turkish history and literature, with some in the Gagos language including a section on a hero of the Gagos cause, the priest Mihail Çakir. Burada olmasının birkaç nedeni var. Bunların başında e, aslında Gagavuzlar bir Türk boyu. E, yani biz akrabayız, onlarla kardeşiz. E, bu birinci etken. Bir de Türkiye malumunuz e, nerede böyle e, zor durumda yaşayan bir bölgede işte insanlar varsa onların etnik kimliğine, dinine falan bakmadan yardıma koşan bir yapıya sahiptir. Bunu hemen hemen tüm dünyada görebilirsiniz. Across the road from the library is the main local government building where I meet the governor of Gagosia. Irina Vilar was first elected in 2015 with the backing of Moldova's Socialist Party. She was then re-elected four years later with more than 90% of the vote and welcomes Turkey's investments in a country that's often labeled Europe's poorest. Благодаря этим отношениям нам удалось реализовать очень много серьёзных проектов на территории нашей автономии, и это проекты, которые были направлены на развитие образования, на развитие культуры. За несколько лет нам удалось построить новые сады, детские сады, реорганизовать наши школы. Очень скоро мы сдадим спортивный крупный спортивный комплекс, который строит правительство Турции. But Turkey isn't the only country with influence in Gagosia. The Russian language is largely dominant and most people watch Russian TV. A referendum was held seven years ago, which the central government rejected. People overwhelmingly voted in favor of closer economic relations with Russia and its allies, and against closer ties with the EU. But now Moldova has a new prime minister, Natalia Gavrilita, 
and a pro-EU central government following an election in July. Political analyst Sergei Manastirli says Gagor's people view Turkish investments as gifts, but to the central government they are beneficial for a different reason. Sometimes uh, Moldovan government uh, they uh, accept uh, this uh, in Turkish investments in uh, Gagosia uh, as they accept it as a good because uh, they think it uh, changes uh, it changes disposition in the uh, region and uh, it lowers Russian influence on the region on the Gagosian mines uh, and they hope to use it as um, balance uh, they hope to use it to balance uh, with uh, Russian influence more autonomy has meant you can now see signs in both Russian and Gagos. This one in the park in the region's capital, Comrat, gives a warning about domestic violence. Gagos language lessons are also given in schools. This doesn't look much like Turkey with all these Soviet-era housing blocks, but some of the people living inside will remember a time when they could only use the Gagos language with their close family and friends. Now the authorities are trying to change that by reviving the language and its culture. Outside the Culture House too, where the governor's orchestra is practicing, the sign is also written in Gagos, although the music doesn't always have to be traditional. The orchestra's leader, Yuri Taranenko, moved to Gagosia in the 1980s. He remembers a time before Beyoncé and before Moldovan independence in 1991 and says there are now more bands and cultural diversity. Change is also being brought about by cash from the EU and other European institutions. This new junction is being funded by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. It's also being supervised by a Turkish company. The governor of Gagosia believes she can balance all the competing interests in her region, including the population's sympathies to Russia and antipathy to the EU. Я по должности являюсь членом правительства Республики Молдова и являюсь руководителем этой автономии и считаю нужным и правильным работать над тем, чтобы качество жизни у наших жителей было хорошим, чтобы отношения между нашими партнерами были хорошими. И если у меня есть такая возможность, если у меня есть возможность повлиять на улучшение взаимоотношений с руководством Турции, с руководством России, с лидерами европейских государств, я считаю нужным и правильным это делать. The Gagos are just one large minority in Moldova's diverse population. Other parts of the country have tried to break away. But so far, autonomy and foreign investment here seems to have meant more integration and the revival of the Gagos identity. Andrew Hopkins, Gagosia, Moldova.